Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I wanted to give you three Facebook ad copywriting tips uh, to help you create better copy for your Facebook ad. Now, the first is the call out method. So, no matter how good your targeting is on Facebook, there's always going to be people within your audience that aren't really interested in your products and services and aren't really representative of your ideal customer. But there are also, if you've got it right, going to be people that are absolutely hyper responsive to your business, that really, really want what you have to offer and they want it right now. So you want to let those people know that your ad is for them and they should pay attention and, and basically read further and check it out. The call out method is a great way of doing that. So here's an example. I've, um, I've used this example before for an interior design company. Now obviously we're targeting, let's say, people with properties over a certain value or, or whatever targeting option you want to use. But their hyper-responsive prospects, the ones that really are likely to become a customer right now, are people that are either moving house or redecorating already. They've decided to do that. So, at the beginning of their ad copy, one of the ads we've run starts with moving house, question mark, redecorating, question mark. And that lets anyone know, if, you know, if you're scrolling through your Facebook newsfeed and you see an ad that starts with moving house question mark and you are moving house that's going to grab your attention and you might check it out further you know you could use the call out method in lots of different ways you could do it by location so let's say you know you're advertising in west london for example you could say west londoners question mark or west londoners dot 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 and then go on to talk about whatever it is you could do it by people that are interested in you know if you're selling fishing supplies you could say like fishermen dot 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 it's, it's just a, a great way of letting your hyper responsive prospects know this ad is for you you should pay attention i've got great information to share here you're going to be interested etc etc so that's the first tip is the first facebook ad copywriting tip is to use the call out method the second is to make your copy as long as it needs to be to fully explain your offer, but no longer than that. You don't want to ask your prospects to read through an essay or have to go through, you know, loads of text and they open, they click the see more button and there's just reams and reams of text. It's unlikely to work. Sometimes it does, but it's unlikely to work very well. What I like to do is keep it short and sweet, but not so short that I don't fully explain whatever it is that we're advertising. So let's say, for example, you know, we're running a, we're offering a free consultation with a service provider. We'll fully explain that. Say how the free consultation works. Is it at their property? Is it over the phone? Um, do they have to come and see you? What do they get? Who are they meeting? Is that person an expert? Are they an award-winning expert? You know, if it's a product, fully explain the product. What are the features of the product? What are the benefits of the product? But try and keep it short and sweet. Remember, when you're doing that with your copy, you want to make everything benefit-rich. So what's the benefit to the customer? But that's the second Facebook ad copywriting tip, is to keep your copy relatively short, make it just as long as it needs to be, but no longer. For a lot of businesses, that's going to be somewhere between, let's say, two and six sentences is what we usually uh, end up working with. And the third Facebook ad copywriting technique is to not be too shy. So I see a lot of people when it comes to their Facebook ad copy, they don't go for the sale enough. They're too, you know, they think, oh, it's social media, you can't sell very aggressively, it's not that sort of platform. But here's the thing, if someone's reading your Facebook ad copy, they've already had their attention grabbed. You've already grabbed their attention with your image or your video or your headline. So they've demonstrated some interest in whatever it is you're offering. To get to the copy, it's not the first thing that people often see when they're scrolling through. So to get to that stage, they've demonstrated interest and this is where you really want to go ahead and grab them. So if your product is amazing, if it's the best in the industry, go ahead and say it. Don't be shy about that. You know, if it is, um, has these extra features that they can't get anywhere else, don't be shy about telling people that and really going for that sale. Now, the other thing I'll mention is that you want to include a call to action in your Facebook ad copy. So don't just you know, expect them to work it out. Don't expect them to know, oh, I need to click through here, um, you know, on, on this button. No, put a link in the, in the bottom of your copy and aggressively sell it. sell it. Tell people exactly what you want to do. So really sell your product and then say, look, to get this now or to make sure you don't miss out on this special sale, this special product before stocks last, these free consultations before they run out, go ahead and click on this link and book it right now. So I see a lot of that, people are too shy and, and you shouldn't be. Okay, so hopefully that's been useful. If it has, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below if you've got any questions. One thing I will include a link in the video description is to my Facebook group, the Facebook Ads Mastermind Group, which you can join for free. Really, really valuable community. And um, yeah, be good to get involved. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.